Today we are building a bird feeder out of trash. Yep, we are heading into our nearby woods to clean up the forest and see if we can find the makings of a bird feeder. The girls will get to see some great wildlife and even a very dangerous animal. They'll also learn about nature, be eco-friendly, and challenge their minds. Seriously, if you need activities to do with your kids in the woods and be somewhat green but not in a pretentious way, check out this video, it's fun. Right girls? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and today I've got Caesar. you might remember him from the Gecko episode. He's an uncle of those girls as well. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. I need someone to help me haul this trash out. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. The girls are eager to get started, but there are safety rules. The girls must ask permission before picking up any trash in case it might be unsafe. Also, we will not gather any building materials for our bird feeder that could possibly be unhealthy for the birds. Good. Over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're cleaning. We're cleaning. Oh, look at that. There's a full on bike or something. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need to figure out how to get that. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. It's pretty solid, right? I, know. I think that's gonna be a great frame. I think I'm gonna have to come back for that. We can't carry that this whole time. But I will be back for it. Are you having fun? Yes. Are you adorable? Yes. Water, they need water, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shall we keep moving? So this is... Great girls. So we were walking here and I was chatting to the camera and the girls and Caesar spotted a little copperhead right behind me right here. So we're getting a little footage of it. You can sort of see it right there. And so as Caesar pointed out to the girls, it's important to be even more careful around juveniles because they're sort of impulsive and they don't know how to control their venom. So I'm glad the girls could see their first copperhead and they can identify it from the different snakes, snakes that they've been finding out here. Yeah, seriously, great work, bro. Don't paper. Can you want me to get the paper? Yeah. Where is the paper? The um the inside the water. You want me to go inside the water to get it? Yeah. Okay. Go up, just rinse it out with some water. This which one it LP? Are you empty now? LP, let's put it, let's get it in the bag there. Put it in there. Good. <laughs> empty it, empty it. Not on my feet. Okay, let's put it in the bag now. I thought you were getting this one. 
Am I getting this one? Mm -hmm. All right. This is actually some good material. See, you're gonna. Ooh, ooh, sorry, sir. You're gonna get a workout, man. Yeah. The girls are having a lot of fun. They're even arguing over who gets to pick up the trash. Oh man. This would be great for netting or something. It's an old chair. All right, I'll put this in. I have another bag. All right, who's got the glove on? Me. Okay, you can get it if you got a glove on. Want some help? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the tire. Gonna give it to Uncle Caesar? No, give it to Uncle Caesar. What is it though? What is it though? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's not too rotten. Plywood. Oh. So, we just found the plywood. What do you What do you think, LP? That could be used for? It can. It could be a table. A no, table. Okay. No, okay. It can be a thing that can go in the floor, and you can put the food in the wood, and then the birds can eat it. That's a great idea. All right. So as you can see, it's getting darker, and Caesar, show your bag, buddy. His bag's filling up, and I just found this plywood, which is waterlogged, but I think it'll be a good base. The girls think it'll be a good table. Uh, we need to head in, but we're gonna pick up some more trash on the way in. Oh, B, what is it? Now we'll get home and we'll build it tomorrow. We've dumped our stuff, now we'll sort it out. Figure out what we'll use and what we can recycle. So we have all our stuff laid out. Girls, should we start brainstorming some ideas? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Brainstorming some ideas. Um, I think that the tackies that won't work. I think we trashed that, right? Yeah, I think we, we should trash that. Um, and the golf balls can actually, um, I don't know, we can wash them. And we'll need to go to the drawing board. The little, like, flower thing. It could be like um, a like they could get a bath, so water on here. Are you trying to make them a luxury spa? <laughs> mm, a lot of that. Simple. <coughs> it just has three hanging things. Like that. All right. Like yeah. that. Too. You like it? I like that. You want to do that? We know what to do, so now we must clean our items with a rinse of water from the lake and a little scrubbing. We can tie these straps together to hang the feeder from a tree. Now we need to measure a circular cut for the wood. So we found a laundry hamper, which is a perfect 15 inch diameter for what we need. And apparently also great for bongos. I'll score the wood with a screwdriver to mark where I'll saw. Pain in the butt, well, we're getting there. 
Okay, let's try it. Let's see if it fits. Oh, does it need a little trimming? Or is yep. it fitting? It fits. It fits? Yep. Good. Well, we're not going to do it that way, but... Okay, next step. We got to get some ropes on it. The straps will be more than strong enough to work. We have so far um, where they could put their, um, where they can drink, and um, we're gonna put like some food next time. Um, yep, and that's what we have so far. Great work. We have a bucket of recyclables, and all that's left is to hang the bird feeder and put some seed in it. So we bought a bird seed that's infused with chili peppers that discourages squirrels from getting up there. Because I don't know if you noticed, but that's pretty easy for squirrels to get into. I'm gonna see what this tastes like. Holy moly, that is very spicy. It's pretty spicy. And now we wait. I told the girls it might take a few days before the birds arrive. And I did go back on another day into the forest to retrieve that tricycle. Our neighbor plans on restoring it for the little girl next door. After a couple of days of heavy rain that rinsed off the chili pepper, a squirrel enjoyed the seed. Then a catbird was tempted to try it out. And very soon, and after introducing some premium seed, we had plenty of birds arriving of many different species. It's now become a popular spot for our neighborhood birds. I have some ideas to upgrade the feeder with a little add-on to attract woodpeckers, nuthatches, and starlings, so maybe I'll just have to make another video. helping the birds. Very good girls and I'm so proud of you for doing so well. We fed birds. Please subscribe, like the video, comment below if you're gonna try this and subscribe for real because we're gonna try this again upgrade style. You yep. didn't know that. No, I actually said it. Okay. Uh, yeah.